I hope this doesn't happen to anyone, but I already know people that have experienced this. One day, Rachel was fine. She was going about her day. She was busy. She was productive. She was spending time with her family and friends. But then all of a sudden, she developed a cough and started to get a high fever. And she had no idea what it was. When she went to get checked at the hospital, they realized that it was COVID-19. She wasn't allowed to leave the hospital. She couldn't go back to her husband and her family and her friends. She had to stay there. But she was young and healthy, or so they thought. So they thought she would be fine if she just stayed there and recovered. By the time you see this video, there will be over 1 million cases of COVID-19 in the United States alone, with over 56,000 deaths and over 137,000 recoveries. There are over 3 million cases in the world and over 211,000 deaths and over 919,000 that have recovered. But Rachel's story was not one of recovery. Even though they expected her to recover shortly after she was diagnosed, it actually got worse. Her husband would regularly visit, but without being able to be face to face with her, he would drop off meals, flowers, messages, and her favorite items from home. She had beaten diseases before, so the doctors believed that she'd be able to fight this one off as well. She'd FaceTime her husband every day until she couldn't. COVID-19 gave her a cardiac arrest, and so she sadly passed away. Her husband wasn't by her side. There were so many things that he wanted to say to her. So many memories he wanted to relive with her. So many new memories he wanted to make with her. So many plans and dreams they had together. They had their whole life ahead of them, or so they thought. He was heartbroken, completely distraught. No one could come to see him, and he didn't really want to pick up the call to anyone. It was the toughest time in his life, and he was going through it alone. He finally decided that he was going to go to the hospital to pick up her items and everything that she had left behind. When he got home, he opened her phone to see the pictures they had and wanted to start looking through all the memories that they had captured. And as he was going through her photo gallery, he found a picture. This picture was of a note. And on that note, she had written to him this is what it said. My love, I love you more than you could imagine. I am going to miss you so incredibly much. You have been my best partner, my best friend, and my greatest adventure. From the moment we met, I knew you were the person I wanted to spend my life with. You're the most kind-hearted, generous, and caring soul I've ever known. And I'm so grateful to call you my husband. I want you to continue being the man I fell in love with. Continue living, my darling. I know this all feels scary, but I promise it's going to be okay. All my love, Rachel. The Buddha said, the trouble is you think you have time. You never know how long you have with someone, so don't waste it arguing. Don't waste it complaining and comparing and criticizing, and don't waste it fighting. Don't let your last words to someone be words you don't mean. Don't let your last interaction be full of pain. Don't let your last shared emotion be anger, because you don't know when your last time will be your last ever.